only mode. Okay, welcome everyone to the visionary training call uh, here on Tuesday. Um, today we have a special guest that I'm going to introduce very quickly. And on your screen, you'll probably see Altcoin Today. That is, the, uh, as it says, your daily crypto news. And we just happen to have the editor in chief and the um, the cryptocurrency expert and a, and a fellow that I've met through uh, uh, a line of, of Luca Damianoff and, and Kaylee. Um, what's Kaylee's last name, Gary? Taylor. Kay Kaylee Taylor introduced me to Gary. And after about 30 days of being in this and launching this, I had spoke to all oh, several quote unquote cryptocurrency experts that uh, quite honestly, I hung up on one. One wasn't the expert that he claimed to be and one couldn't answer the difficult questions. So and it would all had to do with regulatory type things and procedures. And so today's training, we're going to talk about really cryptocurrency as a whole in the marketplace. Um, what the very first cryptocurrency was in Bitcoin, when they launched, why they launched and and the footprint that they've made and the path that they've paved uh, to allow us second generation cryptocurrencies to improve upon what they originally came to market with. And as we know it here today, a visionary or Capricorn, a, a 2.0 version of Bitcoin. So as we get started, everyone welcome, and I'm proud to produce, uh, introduce and uh, I've come to know uh, a fellow by the name of Gary Connor that you're going to meet right now, who is the, I think his publication is the third largest in the world, Altcoin Today, which is a um, overview, a news type uh, platform, anything and everything to do with cryptocurrency. So without further ado, our uh, really our in-house advisor. Uh, for the cryptocurrency world and us being on some external exchanges uh, really had um, a lot to do with the relationship now that we've built with uh, Gary here. So Gary, real quick, come in and, uh, and in introduce yourself. Tell us a little bit about how you got started. Uh, what is this altcoin today and and when did you start in cryptocurrency and, and why did you start in cryptocurrency is I guess the best way to get started here. So go ahead, Gary. Introduce yourself to uh, the visionary members here. Everybody, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, I am indeed Gary. I am the owner of altcointoday.com, the cryptocurrency newspaper. Uh, the reason I started it is when I started looking into Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, and I'll talk about that a little bit uh, more in just a little bit, but when I started getting into cryptocurrencies, there wasn't any information anywhere. You could do a Google search for Bitcoin and and you talk to people who didn't have any concept of how to speak human to you. They were all computer programmers, all coders, and there just wasn't an outlet for regular human speaking uh, uh, concepts and things like that. So that's why I started Altcoin today. I actually wanted to teach people about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies right from the get-go. As soon as I figured out what it was all about, um, I actually did get into Bitcoin pretty early, but unbeknownst to me I didn't know what it was going to do and I actually purchased 10,000 bitcoins for 50 bucks approximately or a thousand I can't remember it's been a little while but it was for my daughter for a video game and she wanted to buy an avatar uh, power pack or something like that and so that was actually my first purchase was this micro penny thing called bitcoin well let's roll forward here today you can see right there on the page it's two hundred and sixty five dollars a coin don't I wish I had those thousand or ten thousand, whatever it was now? Yeah, I certainly do. Well, this is what has really driven me to look at other cryptocurrencies because unlike Bitcoin back in 2009 when it was launched, nobody knew what it would do. Well, now we have seen what a properly distributed, properly managed cryptocurrency can do. Um, the reason why cryptocurrency is so uh, amazing is because, number one, it has no borders. You can transfer money all over the planet, and there's no regulatory commissions. There's nobody charging you fees. You can send any amount of money you want anywhere you want to anybody who happens to have a wallet. And these, uh, the wallets and things like that are getting much easier, and it's going to actually allow for uh, second and third world countries that don't have really good banking systems to actually have uh, access to a worldwide monetary system. And that's what's really exciting about Bitcoin for me is that's what it does. Now, 
why would we be talking about Capricorn and uh, versus Bitcoin? We all just go Bitcoin. The primary reason we don't do it is because the mining has been going on so long that it costs hundreds of thousands of dollars to actually successfully mine a Bitcoin today. You need that much in computer hardware, you need that much in electricity to even compete on that level unless you join a, a multi-pool, but even still the uh, initial capital investment is so great that it just doesn't make sense to your uh, for your average users. This is what Capricorn is, is bringing to people. Instead of everybody having to own all of their own equipment, we're joining a large pool through Visionary to mine Capricorns. Now, why wouldn't we do that with Bitcoin? Well, again, Bitcoin has a few flaws, and one of the biggest flaws that Bitcoin has is its speed. It's not very fast. You know, I've mentioned that you can run money all over the world, but it takes time for Bitcoin to happen, to actually get onto the network and to be registered by the blockchain and that transaction to appear in another wallet someplace else somewhere in the world. This is what Capricorn is doing differently. We, we've basically created a coin that has written out all of the flaws that Bitcoin has. And the biggest, most exciting thing about Capricorn and Visionary, the reason that I got involved, was it is educating people about what cryptocurrencies are. It's giving people access to people like myself who have already done the hard work to figure out how it works. It's giving the tools and information to show you how to implement it into your daily life. This is the future. This is why I went into cryptocurrencies because when I was a younger person, 20s, uh, this little thing called the internet came out and the dot-com boom. Well, I knew there was something there, but I couldn't convince my dad at the time to pay attention to it. Well, in my opinion, cryptocurrencies are the dot-com boom number two. This is the future. This is going to create a whole new internet. It's going to create an entire new way to process money, information, tangible assets, everything. Cryptocurrencies are the future. That's why I paid attention to it two years ago and went all in. I sold everything that I had, I got rid of my business, and I started doing this full-time two years ago because I believe in this uh, industry. Anyway, I'm here. <laughs> this is Gary. <laughs> well, very good, Gary. I, I remember the very first conversation that we had. Uh, we were on a three-way call with uh, Kaylee, and she introduced you as a cryptocurrency expert, and I went, okay, here we go. And, and then to my surprise, do you remember the very first sentence or paragraph that you said to me on that three-way call? I asked you if you had watched the videos. Do you remember what your reply was, Gary? Well, no, yeah, it was really kind of a funny thing. Uh, Clay had sent me the visionary video, the one that most people have already seen, and I watched that and I thought, holy mackerel, these guys are recording me. This is exactly what I have been saying for two and a half years to everybody that I can get in front of. Somehow they got my information and they put it into the right package. <laughs> That's why I decided to join Visionary and Capricorn uh, to help with what they're doing because it's literally what I have been saying for two years. This is the answer. We need to get this information out. The only way to do that, you know, you can take ads out in newspapers. People ignore that stuff, but people like to work with people. And if you can monetize that process and incentivize people, to teach other people, this is how the cryptocurrency world is going to be created. This is the future, and this is the way to do it. And that's exactly why I joined Missionary because of exactly what Andy just said. This video is basically what I always have been saying. Guys, understand that when we researched Bitcoin and we looked at its capabilities. Sometimes in life, people build better mousetraps and our innovative strategies. Uh, well, just look at the MLM platform itself. We are introducing this uh, through an MLM distribution arm for, for a reason. It's part of an innovative strategy. It's part of marketing. It's part of starting with some sound thinkers, some sound minded uh, people who think along the same lines, whereas we diversify where we have – understand our platform, guys, is all based – what's the number one contributor on an external exchange that drives the value, Gary? Um, explain how value is really determined on an external exchange 
And what is Visionary doing that nobody else is doing to take full advantage of that volume so it is precipitant in the value on the external exchange? That's kind of a big question. Um, <laughs> uh, on a an exchange basically is an open auction for a, an asset of any type. People used to go to the uh, the cattle exchange or the cow the cow auctions to to buy and sell cattle. Um, the currency exchange, the cryptocurrency exchange, does the same thing where people take their fiat money and they bid for cryptocurrencies on these exchanges. Now, what gives a cryptocurrency any value? This is a big question. Technically, there is nothing of value in a cryptocurrency because it was manufactured out of thin air and it's just numbers on a computer, right? It's not gold. You can't hold it. You can't eat it. It has no value. Well, this is what the Capricorn mining system does. It creates value because people are spending money to mine the coins. It actually gives it value because people have invested in it and they're more likely to hold it for whatever they invested it in than they are to just give it away for free. So that's how value is created in the in the cryptocurrency world is by mining the coins. And so out on the open platform, on the open exchange, you can buy and sell Capricorns um, to anybody. You know, you don't even know who the person is you're selling to, but they are available to be bought and sold on an open public exchange. And that's a lot different than some of these other systems that have tried to do a, a cryptocurrency multi-level platform they actually never had a fully functional cryptocurrency. They were all their own little internal platforms, basically violating every security and exchange law you can imagine around the world. So this is what Capricorn is doing differently with Visionary. It actually has a real live operating functional cryptocurrency and a fully functional blockchain. And to add, I don't know if I answered your question, Andy. Oh, you did. You did. Um, we're trying to keep it as basic as possible for the folks out there. Um, one thing that I get a question a lot about, since we're on Bittrex and we're also on Blue Trade, they're two totally different exchanges. One's paired to Bit uh, Bitcoin and one is paired to the U.S. dollar. Can you explain exactly what that means to a member here in Visionary or an external user or uh, the like? Yes, um, most all cryptocurrencies are only available to be traded for Bitcoins because of the way the exchanges were created. They didn't have fiat to cryptocurrency pairings, and Bittrex does not have a fiat, a.k.a. U.S. dollar, pairing for Capricorn. Um, Blue Trade, a secondary exchange, they both have Bitcoin pairings, both Bit Bittrex and uh, Blue Trade have Bitcoin pairings. However, Blue Trade does allow you to fund your account with U.S. dollars and actually purchase cap coins with U.S. dollars. They have a uh, have a U.S. dollar fund pairing available there. So, typically, when you're working within the cryptocurrency world, we're not really a fiat system. We're a Bitcoin system. So we're paired against Bitcoin pretty much all the way across the board. But as the future rolls out, like with Blue Trade and the ability to go in and out of euros and U.S. dollars uh, directly bypassing Bitcoin, this is going to be a, a change in the way that people think. But right now, everybody kind of thinks, I need to get a Bitcoin and I need to go to the exchange and I trade my Bitcoins for Capricoins. That's how it's been. But as the U.S. dollar uh, fiat pairings improve on all exchanges, um, that will be replaced in the future. But right now, it's kind of a Bitcoin thing. Okay, great. Um, it, uh, another question is, if somebody wanted to sell their Capricorn uh, through one of the exchanges, what would they do? Does everybody need to set up a Blue Trade account or a Bittrex account? Or, or what do you re recommend for somebody that has, when we open up our e-wallets and we release and distribute the Capricorns to the members, if they want to sell that on the external market, are they getting... Capricorn or are they get in fiat currency or what's the procedure to to absolutely to, to get paid let's say they want to sell some Capricorn for whatever reason okay well let's just talk about uh, US and Canada pretty much uh, the actual way you do it is you will receive your Capricorns into your local wallet 
You can then open up a Bittrex or Blue Trade account. It doesn't matter. They're both anonymous. They're very easy to set up. You just sign up for Bittrex, and you transfer your coins from your local wallet to the Bittrex wallet, at which point you can go into the market, and you can sell your coins to somebody else willing to buy them, and that gets turned into Bitcoin. Once you have that Bitcoin, you can transfer that to Coinbase, your Coinbase wallet, which will be linked to your checking account, and you just sell them, and they instantly get sold, and the next day you get money in your personal checking account. The whole thing takes about four minutes to actually do all of those things that I just said. It, it doesn't take very much work at all. I will be creating a video exactly how to do that, so that'll be available in the, in the near future. Okay, well, thank you very much. Um, the other question we get a lot is, explain the difference between, you know, there's a lot of different types of cryptocurrencies out there. Some are proof of work, some are proof of stake. Uh, could you explain briefly the difference between a proof of work coin and a proof of stake coin? Okay, the proof of work is basically Bitcoin. It's, uh, it's algorithm, it's programming code is known as SHA-256 and that is a proof of work type coin which means to create and generate new coins and to support the network you have to have miners pointed at the network creating these coins. The downside to perpetual mining is as the value of the coins go up the there, there's going to be perpetual down pressure by the creation of these new coins. So that's kind of a problem. Now, proof of stake operates very differently. Now, again, when I mentioned that you need to have a miner, why a miner is necessary? Let's say you go into the store to purchase a cup of coffee. You pay your vendor in Bitcoin. Some miner in the world will pick up that transaction and confirm it, and then 10 others will confirm it. And as soon as all of those 10 have confirmed that transaction, it becomes a permanent part of the ledger of the blockchain. So that, that's what the miners do. They actually confirm transactions as people are using Bitcoin. Well, as Bitcoin gets more difficult to mine, and eventually Capricorn is going to be in kind of a similar situation where it's going to be so expensive that you don't really want to have a mined coin. You want the network to support itself. Now, proof of stake, instead of having miners confirming transactions, everybody who has a local wallet on their computer participates in the, in the confirmation process and everybody gets a little bit of a reward from the processing of those, tr of the, of those transactions. So instead of the network getting smaller and smaller and smar smaller and more focused as it gets more difficult to mine, the Capricorn network is going to grow faster, stronger, the more people who join, the bigger and better it gets. It, 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 it's a self-sustaining system, and that's the proof-of-stake portion of Capricorn, and that's one of the most unique features about it. Number one, it's lightning fast. I mentioned that it takes a long time to send Bitcoins around. Sometimes it can take up to 15 minutes before somebody sees that you paid them, and it can take up to six hours before you can spend those Bitcoins that you've received. Capricorn, you will see them typically in less than three seconds, and you can spend them again in three minutes, and that's due to the proof-of-stake nature of the system, of the network, because every time a person opens up a wallet on their computer, they're participating in the, in the network confirmation process and thus making the network faster. So that's kind of the difference. Proof-of-work means a miner is creating coins. Proof-of-stake means the holders, users, and adopters are supporting the network. Very good. Okay, I'm going to answer or, or ask a couple of questions. Guys, if you have questions, just chat, uh, type them into the chat, please. Uh, very first question. Uh, it looks like uh, Shri um, Vuma asks, how can we, how do we know or how can we really trust the external exchanges? This, okay, Bittrex specifically, I'm going to talk about Bittrex. They have demonstrated uh, you, you really can't trust people like Bernie Madoff, who, who did the biggest Ponzi scheme in the whole world. You know, it really, it really comes down to people's ethics and things like that. It comes down to whether they're willing to break the law. However, Bittrex uh, has taken a 
an industry first step to get its New York bit license, and it cost them about $25,000 to file for this actual license. It included background checks, it included financials, it included everything you can imagine for a financial institution to go through, like a bank, to comply with those regulations. So you can trust Bittrex is probably going to be there. You know, again, you can't 100% say Bernie Madoff wasn't going to do or an Enron or whatever, but the likelihood that they're going to go the straight and narrow, straight and narrow based upon the fact they have complied with the licensing that's required in, to operate in New York State, uh, that's why you can trust them. Okay, well, thank you very much. If we could, I have about uh, I have about six million dollars worth of coins on Bittrex right now, just so everybody knows. I trust. Okay. It. Wow, that's impressive. Um, right now, here in the U.S. and Canada, uh, really cryptocurrencies have been uh, really categorized as real property, and they have capital gain uh, type exposures to them. Where do you see because these exchanges are not uh, so uh, quote unquote. Uh, SEC regulated. These are external exchanges that have their own rules and regulations in which they promulgate under. But where do you see the cryptocurrency world going in the in the future for regulation and or uh, compliance type maybe fees around the world? How do you see this being adapted uh, in the long term? You know that's a that's a really another really big question, Andy. Um, that's a huge crystal ball to look into. It's so unknown. I know that uh, a few countries have out and out banned it, China and Russia. They basically said everybody's going to go to jail if you use it, and uh, guess what? They reversed their decision on that because everybody started doing it offshores. Um, they can't control it, so when the regulations get too stringent, uh, people will in mass move. Like I said, China and Russia at one point actually outlawed the thing and they had to come back on that decision because they just lost their customers, they lost their people. Um, the business in actually was the most uh, significant steps in actual regulation and government adoption of cryptocurrencies where they at least recognize it's here. Um, they were trying to get rid of the wild, wild west of the people who do uh, stock, or should I say, uh, exchange pumps and dumps and, and illegal exchanges who were dishonest, who didn't have developers that had uh, any track record. Um, so as far as the future goes, it, it's, it's a very big question. It's hard to see where it's at. In California, uh, cryptocurrencies are recognized as a formal currency, which is the first time in history since the U.S. dollar was created. Um, so it is moving forward here in the U.S. and around the world. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely going somewhere. But as far as an ironclad plan for regulation and things like that, that's still very thin air. Okay, very good. Next question I think I can handle pretty easily. Uh, Melanie uh, had a question. Do I have to buy Capricorn every week? Well, first of all, Melanie, we don't sell Capricorn through Visionary. Visionary is the distribution arm that sells mining time that's going to allow you to pull your mining efforts along with other members that are going to allocate you a certain number of Capricorn. Our product is actual mining time. Now, if I read between the lines, do you have to buy Capricorn every week? No, because we don't sell Capricorn. That would be illegal. But we can sell the mining time that allocates you the Capricorn. But since you put every week in there, yes, in the visionary, in the distribution arm, visionary, our product is mining time. And that mining time, 50 units goes towards one slot. And yes, you want to at all costs as a top priority. If you're going to be a, a member in Visionary, you want to you really want to mine one slot per week, no matter what. Because if you do, you're going to be rewarded for that participation in the pool number two in the distribution arm. That's going to allot you additional mining time to allocate more Capricorn. So anything you want to add there, Gary? Yeah, actually, uh, it is very important to reallocate your slots and mine when the difficulty is low because right now we are getting more coins per minute than we will be in two years. And the value of each of those coins is going to go up dramatically 
in the ne next two years. So you want as many as possible. And I'm going to go back to the story of Bitcoin. Again, Bitcoin used to be less than a penny. And everybody was amazed when it was 50 cents. Oh, my gosh, it'll never go higher. And then it was $100. Oh, wow, who can imagine that? Well, here it is right there on the screen, $265. And it did reach $1,000. That was a bit of a shenanigans by an exchange. But this 265 is a real price. I mean, it's been holding at this, at this point for quite a little while. Capricorn's going to do the same thing. So you do want to mine every week especially as we are just launching I have all of my all of my mining time is completely full power I want as many as possible now because when I started Capricorns were what about five cents Andy and aren't they now 23 24 a piece something like that well correct um, the, the the actual cost per Capricorn has ranged anywhere from about three cents to to nine cents the t the cost of Mining time doubled there July, what was it, July 20th, I believe. Um, right. So if you do the math, you, you do the reverse math on that. Yeah, uh, a lot of us for the first couple of months got mining time at half price. But still, as Gary said, right now on the platform for mining time, we're in and around 22, 23 cents. Guys, that is a bargain of all bargains. Uh, just like normal, you come in, you have money on your mandatory account. Go there and you're going to buy units at the lowest, at the best price. And right now that best price is probably 23.6, 23.9. And that's still a bargain. You will laugh at that price two, two years from now. Um, it, it'll be the best bargain in cryptocurrency. But nevertheless, another question here. Um, and I think I can do this one, Gary, unless you want to add something at the end. Um, Pablo asked, how long before Capricorn vision or slash visionary will have a merchant account? First of all, understand, guys, no single entity owns Capricorn. We, the owners of visionary and or the parent company, cannot control, inflate, deflate, um, do a, a printing of more coins or quantitative easing or any of those types of functions that usually decrease the value and inflate or uh, a a currency but before we get, um visionary um will be the distribution arm the if you will the the side of the platform that's going to allow people to earn incomes and share with others the capricorn side is going to be the side in which we bring on merchants we have the cash back the rewards program and we just submitted our first, I'm not going to go into detail on this because I'm not going to, um, if that's a reason, but we just submitted our first app. Um, uh, and, you know, there's Apple and there's Droid and those types of things to get our e-wallet approved. And that'll be the first step to have the retail side or the merchant side of things up and operating. We need to do the proper uh, steps first in getting the application approved online, beta tested, and then ready to go for merchant accounts. Um, and we're expecting that to happen at our leaders convention in Spain at the end of September, where we'll actually have a fully functional cryptocurrency with an e-wallet that we will have a merchant standing by. We'll be able to use our cryptocurrency to buy, to buy the said good or service in real time. And I'm not going to go into this either, but after today's conversation, we hit the holy grail of, of all cryptocurrencies. Just know there's something that's coming in the future that will absolutely okay. change the landscape of cryptocurrency. And Capricorn slash Visionary is going to be the first to ever implement it. Um, without I'm going into too much to that, Andy. You know, go ahead, Gary. Um, one thing about Capricorn, as Andy said, no one person owns it, no one person controls it. There is a software company and software support staff that take care of things like upgrading wallets and little minor modifications possibly to the graphics of the wallets and things like that. But the currency actually works all by itself. And as soon as two people, and there's already two people, who have a local wallet, it is officially on fire and not controlled by anyone. Now, the entire altcoin community, the whole altcoin world, I mean, we have Dogecoin, Litecoin, Dashcoin, Fuelcoin. We have very significant coins 
that are making headway into the real retail environment. And every time any one of them does something, it's possible for everybody else to do it too. So the whole industry is moving forward to being used and there will be platforms that will accept multiple cryptocurrencies because there isn't going to be just one successful cryptocurrency. There's going to be many of them. I believe that Capricorn is going to be one of them. But there will be merchants like Shapeshift allows you to use any of your cryptocurrencies with a vendor who accepts Bitcoin today. So this, this whole where can I use it, it's being closed. Uh, this gap is being closed by the altcoin community. And I'm not talking just Capricorn. We're talking Dogecoin, Litecoin, Dark Dash, all of these other coins who are making headway into the industries of being accepted by merchants and businesses. Every time one of them makes a victory, it's a victory for all of us. So it's not just Capricorn making this happen. And this is part of what my, my function is with Capricorn and Visionary. When those things come available, I hear about it and I know who to talk to to make it happen. That's, that's part of what I do. So that's a huge thing for Capricorn is having somebody with the, uh, their, their finger on the pulse of the industry such as myself. Well, and what's very exciting to me as, as I look at our members and I look at our product um, and I look at our byproduct, the Capricorn, I look at diversification. I look at an asset not pegged to a dollar or any currency for that matter of any. It's, it's about having assets out of your, your home country. You got to remember, guys, if you took the industry of money and the movement of money that I've told and trained on prior uh, webinars, that's an $80 trillion market. That is bigger than all MLM companies combined in the world. Understand the market, understand the opportunity in cryptocurrency because of the timing. Think of the timing of the Capricorn. What you do now and the foundation that you um, build now literally could make you millions in the future because we're getting things for pennies on the dollar. We're the first one to market with innovative strategies, technologies, and we, we're going to make it dreadfully simple for people in the movement, the facilitation of the movement of money that we want this coin. We, we, we named it the people's coin because understand as this money moves, it's going to drive the value upward and there will be a great benefit and value to the ones that build the foundation now. So that's what's really gotten all of us excited is it's got so many applications or uh, things that you can do. Not only is it a plan B, I think it's financial survival. I think it's economic freedom. I think of, I think of a lot of different things when I think of cryptocurrency. Anything you want to add there, Gary? You pretty much hit all of the, the points on the head. Uh, this, is, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. This isn't a uh, blue hat, green hat thinking. This is reality. We are involved at the beginning of an emerging technology, an entire industry based around an emerging technology just as significant as the dot-com boom, the Internet and Google, Facebook combined. This is bigger than all of those combined because we're talking about actually replacing the fiat system, fiat dollar system, and becoming a full, uh, completely integrated with everybody's future life. This is a, this is a long-term play, and it will absolutely pay huge dividends in the future. It, it, there's just no two ways about it. I okay. Mean, if we just, just look at Bitcoin, people bought it for less than a penny, and it's sitting there at two sixty-five seventy-nine. Same kind Here's of thing. Here's a great question from Dave Stewart. He says he gets emails from Bittrex talking about coins being delisted. How will Capricorn stay stable and not be delisted? And do you expect many other altcoins to be dislisted? It's kind of funny. One of the major, okay, another reason that I'm, I'm involved with Capricorn and Visionary is the team behind it has the wherewithal to bring things to fruition. Making a cryptocurrency is actually easy. I could probably create one my very own self in about two and a half hours, 
drinking beer, eating pizza, and launched the Gary Coin. It's not hard, and actually there's a whole bunch of people with no wherewithal, with no vision, no foresight, no marketing skills, and no money creating altcoins. You know, there's a bunny coin, there's a ripoff coin, there's a, all kinds of stupid coins that literally were just people doing a hobby coin. They list them on Bittrex, nobody cares about it, there's no volume, and when the volume drops below 0.2 BTC in a week, they delist it. And so, since I've been doing this, I can tell you that there's been about 2,300 pass across my desk. How many are actually relevant? Like 100 out of that 2,300. Well, if 2,300 have crossed your desk, Gary, I'm honored and privileged and blessed that you came on board uh, with Visionary. Uh, somebody of your caliber and expertise and knowledge is is God sent to us. So I, I love it because you've, you've lightened my workload. You've saved me. Um, there you go. <laughs> okay. Um, another question, William Wirtz, what's the approximate membership worldwide of Visionary? Uh, William, we're somewhere right around, I'm going to guess 1500 members at this point. Um, and growing quickly, uh, every day. Um, that's understand pretty, that, that's that. double from what, two, three, two and a half weeks ago when I asked you. Well, it might be, and and partially the 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 growth and the volume of this platform, uh, I, in my eyes, it's stagnant. It's not going nearly fast enough. But um, when I learned about this, uh, Nicole and I went to Spain, met the owners. Uh, there was a lot to uh, discuss, a lot to absorb, a lot of. Um, even though I've been in financials my whole life. Um, I didn't fully understand cryptocurrencies. I didn't understand our trading platform. The comp plan I understood from the first day I saw it. But with that said, think about where we were 90 days ago and where we are now. 90 days ago, we didn't have a pay in, pay out solution. Now we can use credit cards worldwide with another merchant account coming on. We can pay commissions. So my first priority was, <clears throat> okay, we've got this great platform, we've got this uh, mining, we've got a great byproduct in Capricorn, everything's great, but we don't have any way of paying for it. We've got a great product, but nobody can buy it because we don't. We, all we could do was do wires. So that wasn't going to work. So my first priority was, okay, who do I know in, in that arena that can bring us to a global turnkey uh, to buy our product? So that was priority number one. Then priority number two was, okay, are we legal? Because to me, most of you know that I do not do money games. I don't do the the funny money, the you know, the advertising slots and all that nonsense that always gets shut down. Guys, I don't I'm not gonna put my myself in that position. I'm certainly not gonna put my my mentors and my coworkers and, and the members at risk. I'm gonna do the best I can to keep us uh, as compliant and regulatory as possible. When I looked at other so-called cryptocurrencies in this space and I looked at uh, their platforms, in my opinion, they were operating illegally. So as I became more knowledgeable and educated about this industry, my fears were right. Those platforms are operating illegally, period. So when I met Gary and he could answer the questions of external exchanges, um, Gary, answer this question. A lot of companies out there, you can't be a true cryptocurrency without a blockchain and an external exchange. Is that correct? Well, correct. I mean, if you look at uh, Visa, MasterCard, and the way the banks run money around, they're basically virtual currencies. We don't actually pass physical dollars back and forth anymore. Nobody does. Um, to be qualified as a cryptocurrency, you need to have a blockchain. Now, there's other platforms that have been touting we are a cryptocurrency of the future, blah, blah, blah. They're little more than a Visa MasterCard system that just tracks the money in-house. They don't have the ability to be passed person to person externally from their platform. Capricoins can literally go on telephone and sent to somebody across the country onto their telephone, and you own them. You control them. You're responsible for them. Other platforms don't have that. So what qualifies as a cryptocurrency is any coin or any currency that has blockchain technology backing and supporting it. And that's what this is all based off of is blockchain technology. And we do have a functioning blockchain. In fact, 
Uh, and if you type in chains, C-H-A-I-N-Z, you don't need to do that, but you can actually look at the transactions on the uh, crypt, uh, the Capricorn network. You can see everything that's happening. So um, if you can't be, if you can't find the blockchain for a particular platform, they do not have a real cr cryptocurrency. Yeah, chains.com. I don't know if everybody else lost the screen, but all I see is visionary at this point. Anyway, okay, Andy, I'll turn it back over there. to you. Um... Chains, C H A I N Z dot com. Uh, there might be a different way. C R Y P T O I D. No, it's okay. It's not relevant really right now. We can, no big deal. Yeah, well, we could do that later. It's it's actually C H A I N Z dot crypto ID dot info. Yeah, I'll never be able to put that in. And yeah, I'll, I'll miss that all up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but basically, what, what I was saying is that any coin that has a blockchain standing behind it, that's a true cryptocurrency, and you can hold it. You, can, you can't really hold it, but uh, you can certainly control it, keep it on your own hardware. Nobody tells you what you need to do with it. You don't rely on any external platforms to make it work like other systems and platforms. Um, that's the big identifier is if it has a blockchain and if anybody wants to look at the Capricorn blockchain well, we've got it okay well I knew this question would 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 rear itself at some point uh, again another good question uh, Abid Abbas I'm, um, I, I read your, your question and I have no idea what you're trying to ask if you could uh, retype it in there uh, in a way that I can understand, I'd be more than happy to address it from a B. But the next question, David Stewart, what's the difference between buying Capricorn on the exchanges like Bittrex and Blue Trade as opposed to buying in Divisionary with mining potential at this point in time? You can start with that and I'll finish it up, Gary. Okay, well, or I not, to let, it, not to let a cat out of the bag, but technically right now because – the, uh, the Capricorn is being matured, so to speak, and it's getting established on the exchange. There are a few coins that are actually a little less expensive than mining, but that's not going to be there for long. I'm talking in the next two to three hours. It's going to be less expensive to mine these things than it is to actually purchase them on the exchange. Well, let's take that a step further. If I wanted to invest in a coin... I could go buy any coin I wanted to on an external exchange through money that I earned. Now, what advantages does Visionary have? Number one, if you had no means and you just came in at the basic level, you could actually do work equity and acquire Capricorn at no out-of-cost money, at no out-of-pocket money. That's a big difference. That's huge for a lot of people. A lot of companies I get into – I want to build my equity through work equity. I don't want money out of my own pocket. So what this platform allows you to do is to circumvent commissions and or because of the law that we have in our comp plan that 30% of commissions go back into the mandatory balance that must be used for mining. I look at our platform as a work equity for acquiring Capricorn. Anybody could go buy a cryptocurrency out there on the external exchange but the value that we give is, first of all, we, we build a platform that's turnkey that earns you an additional income stream. And if you go to work, a 30% of that is work equity that's going to allocate you Capricorn. Number two is through participation, meaning like the question we said earlier, it takes 50 units that equals one slot of mining. And if you do that for 10 weeks, which is what's called our SysRep, our system rebalancing, that if you have one slot per week, you're going to earn additional mining time. So you're going to be rewarded through our platform to acquire more Capricorn. So when you really look at the numbers, which I have, the external platform, you cannot buy Capricorn and acquire it at the same cost that you can through Visionary. And as Gary said, it's an isolated, very small window of time that it's even uh, comparable in price to acquire. Um, but even with that said, if you add, if you've been in for 10 weeks 
and you got free mining time through the bonus pools, there's no way you can acquire Capricorn externally at the same cost as we can through the visionary platform. Make sense? Makes sense to me, Andy. Okay. Um, I'm still going through questions here. Uh, uh, let's try. Okay. He's asking, there should be a payment gateway. Um, know, Abid, that we are working on an option and a method in which we will be able to fund visionary mining memberships with Bitcoin. So you're going to have to bear with us here for a little while longer. But yes, we are looking for solutions and we think we found one where people could actually buy Bitcoin and use their Bitcoin to fund their visionary mining packages. Uh, we can, anything you uh, want to add there, we Gary? Individually, we can individually process that today. Uh, okay. If somebody wants to purchase with Bitcoin, we can make that happen. It'll it'll be manual. It's not going to be automatic, but we are working on the autom automation of that. Very good. Hopefully that answers your question. Okay. We have... Will this webinar be recorded for replay? Yes, uh, Mitchell, it will. Okay, one. You should have told me that. I would have combed my hair. <laughs> uh, can you please share the link to see if the coin has a blockchain or not? I'm not sure what that means. Um, can I, if I type in here, ID. Give me two seconds. I'll I'll get it for you. Okay. And does this work? Paste. And if I hit enter, Andy, can you see Skype? Um. I just sent the link to you on the Skype side. Okay. Maybe if Nicole can uh, put it into the. Put it onto your web, onto your, uh, onto your browser. Say what? Gary, send it to my Skype. We're on my computer. Okay, sure. You got it. Sorry. There you go. Okay. Thank you. Hold on one second. Okay, bear with us one second while we're getting this uh, link for the blockchain. No problem. And of course, Nicole's doing it because I'm computer illiterate. I know I'm in the most advanced technology and software in an encrypted cryptocurrency, and I'm lucky to send emails. Go figure. <laughs> Nevertheless, okay. There you go. Did it show? It should be showing. It's okay. just taking a lot of come up. All right. Okay, so we just shared the link to see the blockchain or not. Okay, another one. Dave Stewart, let's see here. Oh, I, he's wanting to know how many people are platinum and how many are gold. Um, I don't know at this point, Dave, but uh, um, private message me, and I can probably get you a number or have one of my people get it for you. Um, but I'm going to guess half is what I see when I look at my – genealogy and so forth. Um, I see a lot of people because here's why. Most people don't understand that really the bronze level is going to mine you two slots for the week of registration and that's it. Either you need to upgrade or add 100 euro to your trade platform balance in your back office under gift cards because most people will come in at gold and platinum for this very reason. It becomes perpetual in nature. Understand that the monies that show up in your mandatory balance on the wholesale platform are to be used for mining. And so what I'm saying is the gold package right now at current mining prices would sustain you with one slot per week for about six months. If you did a platinum, that would sustain you for about a year and a half, not including any free mining time from the CIS rep. Because if you do the math, the gold and the platinum positions afford you some liberties 
that bronze and silver don't quite measure up to. And that is if you did no sponsoring and you shared it with absolutely nobody, it could sustain itself for a prolonged period of time at the platinum gold level. That's why so many people are at platinum and gold because it makes sense. Remember what I did in my, my training the other day? There's four different ways that you can earn a commission and or increase your value in Capricorn without sponsoring. It has nothing to do with recruiting or recommending others. That's the beauty of our platform. Remember, at the end of the day, this asset is still yours. You still own it, control it. You can buy it. You can sell it. You can hold on to it. Does not matter. That is why I believe, number one, why we figured out the problem with network marketing. We found ways that our product has a byproduct, which is money, Capricorn, and in a real, true supply and demand and a, a, a free capitalistic society, the value of Capricorn should go up. Now, am I guaranteeing that it is? It's going to? No. But I want to put people in a position where if they, for whatever reason, they can't build a business or time or money or whatever it might be, I still want to put them in the best possible position to be successful and earn some money, some commissions through the product, not through sponsoring. And that's the trump card, guys, that we have over the entire industry. There's no mandatory auto ships if you don't want it to be. Now, should you mine one slot a week? Absolutely. Is it mandatory? No. So hopefully that I answered that. Probably too much, but it's good to know. So anything you want to add there, Gary? Sorry, I had my mic flipped off for a second. Uh, nope. The, okay. the only thing that I like to tell people about cryptocurrencies is it's not an overnight play. This is positioning yourself for the future. Imagine if you owned help.com in 1994 like I did. You know, be smart. This right. is a long-term play. I agree. Okay, Shri had another one. Okay, uh, Shri, you should be able to see the uh, Capricorn Explorer, the change.cryptoid.info uh, forward slash CBC, CPC forward slash. That's where you're going to find the blockchain info that you're looking for. It's on the screen right now. Okay. Um, not sure that I understand this from Mitchell, but we'll throw it out there. What is the volume of Capricorns compared to Bitcoin and the significance of this? I'm not sure what the question is there, so I'll let you I, I know one, what Gary. He's I know what he's saying. <laughs> um, there eventually will be 21 million Bitcoins, and we already know that about a million of them disappeared into thin air. Somebody threw them away. So there's going to be 20 million uh, Bitcoins. And obviously, supply and demand, after they're all generated and created, uh, it becomes a deflationary currency, meaning that there are no new ones being created, at which point the prices will spike. It's like when all the gold's out of the ground, how much do you think the gold's going to go up? Same kind of thing. Capricorn has 200 million total, and the reason for that is because when you're trying to buy a cup of coffee, it costs you .00001364 Bitcoin. Well, how about just one Bitcoin or one Capricorn? One dollar. You know, we, we, we chose that number because as the value goes up at each uh, 10 decimal, it just makes sense. How much is a cup of coffee? Well, it's 240 Capricorn today. You know, it's it's simple. It's not point zero zero zero. You don't have to do all that weird math in your head like you do with Bitcoin. And that's what's known as uh, Satoshi, eight digit. Yeah, yeah the, it, a, a Bitcoin is divisible to eight decimal places. The U.S. dollar is divisible to two, and we call those cents. So 0 0.01 is one cent. 0 .0000, seven zeros and a one is one Satoshi of a Bitcoin. Very good. See, I'm learning, aren't I, Gary? You are. <laughs> Give me enough time, I'll figure anything out. Nevertheless, uh, Dave Stewart, yes. Yeah, say again, how do I add money to buy slots? I am at bronze until I can upgrade. Uh, let's think without looking at my screen, Dave, 
Uh, I first would say get with the person that uh, that brought you in. But uh, without looking, you can go into your back office and under the the visionary shop, you will see something called gift cards. And about halfway down the gift cards, you'll see a little icon to the left that says balance. No, trade balance. You can use a credit card to buy 100 euros of trade balance that will show up on your mandatory account that will allow you to uh, mine or to buy units to mine um, so you so you stay qualified for the SysRep, stay active. So that's how you would do it until you would upgrade. But if you're going to add 100, um, really, you're, you're really close to being a silver member, Dave. Um, uh, unless it's just absolutely positively no way you can get to silver, then yes, do the 100 euro balance trade uh, application and you should be fine. Okay, let's see. I think we're, well, well, uh, one, we'll do, what time is it here? Um, okay, we've been on an hour. That's long enough. Let's see. I'm not Andy, sure. I'm, I'm comfortable if people want to find me on Skype to ask more specific questions or have a direct dialogue with me about crypto things. Well, how about uh, we sure, just, sure you're already in the, uh, the uh, Skype chat room, correct? Well, Gary, we have an online educational Skype chat, uh, which I will add you in there. And as questions would come in, if you want to answer those on a case-by-case -case basis, feel free to. And uh, sure. yep. it's a great place. We might as well replicate ourselves and train the masses instead of one-on-one. -on -one. Absolutely. Okay. For now, is there anything else that you'd like to close out or say or, or at this point, Gary? Well, you know, again, I just want to share the reason I, of all people, chose Capricorn and Visionary to go with. It's because it's the right message, it's the right team, it's the right coin, it's the right platform, and the time is right. This is literally the first multi-level marketing structured system that teaches people about cryptocurrency and rewards them with a real cryptocurrency. That, that all, this, this is the right business this is the right opportunity this is the right time well thank you Gary I appreciate you very much coming on I really do um, not only uh, your expertise and everything that you've shared with me privately and the, and you've been so gracious and and educating me and getting me up to speed so I can uh, perform with some kind of expertise within this platform it was a lot to learn in a short period of time so I, I can't say enough how much I appreciate you and everything you've done. And call, we'll do it again here shortly. Um, once we uh, get everything up and running, I will see you in Spain, young man, for the very first time. So I look forward to it. Thanks, Nicole, for everything you do. And with that said, uh, appreciate you, Gary. Thanks for coming on and training the masses for us. Uh, I do a, appreciate it. A shout out to everybody for joining the call. Thank you for your time so much. I really enjoy teaching people about cryptocurrencies. That's literally the only reason I started Altcoin today. I love it. This is what I want to do. So thank you for your time. All right. With that said, uh, have a great, uh, what is it, mining? No. It's Mining Monday and Trading Tuesday. So have a great Trading Tuesday. And uh, we will see you next week with some more exciting information. And uh, uh, some different things that we're going to share with you next week. So, Gary, appreciate you, man. Thanks.